In the slow progress that we are surely embarked upon, discoveries are going to be released to the public almost weekly in terms of space defense and discoveries of strange anomalies, objects that potentially threaten our glorious planet. We predict that we are going to be told thick and fast of the things that surround our planet and of potential ways to deter and indeed destroy these objects. From the search of the planet X to the discoveries of interstellar objects, including asteroids and things we never even dreamed could exist, this is indeed the stepping stone in preparation for disclosure and possible alien revisitation. The Pope has even ordered the Vatican Observatory to search for God, so why wouldn't we question what's going on? The latest discovery released this week is that of a double asteroid system that has never been seen before. Wait till you hear this. New observations by three of the world's largest radio telescopes have revealed that an asteroid discovered last year is actually two objects, each about 3,000 feet in size, orbiting each other. Near-Earth asteroid 2017 YE5 was discovered with observations provided by the Moroccan Akhamendan Sky Survey, but no details about the asteroid's physical properties were released until now. This is only the fourth equal mass binary near-Earth asteroid ever detected, consisting of two objects nearly identical in size orbiting each other. The new observations provide the most detailed images ever obtained to this type of binary asteroid. On June 21st, the asteroid 2017 YE5 made its closest approach to Earth for at least the next 170 years, coming to within 3.7 million miles of Earth, or about 16 times the distance between Earth and the Moon. Observation by NASA's Goldstone Solar System Radar in California showed the first signs that it could be a binary system. The observations revealed two distinct lobes, but the asteroid's orientation was such that scientists could not see if the two bodies were separate or joined. Eventually, the two objects rotated to expose a distinct gap between them. Scientists at Arquivo Observatory in Puerto Rico had already planned to observe 2017 YE5, and they were alerted by their colleagues at Goldstone of the asteroid's unique properties. So the scientists teamed up with researchers at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia and used the two observatories together in a bi-static radar configuration. Together, they were able to confirm that 2017 YE5 consists of two separated objects. The new observations obtained indicate that the two objects revolve around each other once every 24 hours. This was confirmed with visible light observations of brightness variations. Radar imaging shows that the two objects are larger than their combined optical brightness originally suggested, indicating the two rocks do not reflect as much sunlight as a typical rocky asteroid. Scientists estimate that among near-Earth asteroids larger than 650 feet in size, about 15% are binaries with one larger object and a much smaller satellite. Equal mass binaries like 2017 YE5 are much rarer. Another strange little example as the effort to scour the cosmos for potential extinction level asteroids, how far are we from a potential Star Wars style global defense system? What if we were to tell you that an astronaut has spoken out regarding the fact that humans secretly landed on Mars decades ago? Chris Hadfield claims, we could send people to Mars decades ago. If we could do that, then what else are we not being told? They already have the technology to read newspaper print in your living room from space, so why wouldn't similar technology exist to detect potential threats to the Earth from space? There are also a whole host of other things going on this week in space. NASA plans to touch the sun literally with a space probe, and there is also an effort underway to actually start mining on the moon. The idea is that lunar ice can be converted not only to oxygen, but also to rocket fuel and liquid water. This means that with moon bases, 
we can harness this for vital life-giving properties and also solve our long-term fuel problem as well. Crazy, but true. Another interesting article this week was in that of a single strange particle from deep space that may shed light on some of the mysteries of the universe. The tiny ghost-like subatomic particle was ejected from an incredibly energetic galaxy 4 billion light years away and could solve the century-old mystery of where cosmic rays come from as well as providing an entirely new way of looking at the cosmos. The mysterious particle made its way to scientists from the most extreme environments in the universe and will give them an unparalleled look at those intriguing regions. Like the discovery of gravitational waves in 2016, the latest find could give scientists an entirely new way of peering into the infinite depths of space. And just as with the earlier discovery, the new development relied on scientists spotting the tiniest disturbance down on Earth and tracking it to a mysterious black hole billions of light years away. You're probably sitting still, right? Wrong, absolutely wrong. Not only are you on a spinning orb, but you're also traveling around 70,000 miles per hour around a star in a galaxy that, observations imply, is sailing through space at over a million miles per hour. If the above numbers seem shocking, they shouldn't be. The laws of physics look and feel the same for any object so long as it's not accelerating. The way you can't feel that a car is traveling at a steady 60 miles per hour unless you look out the window. But that also makes our galactic speed hard to measure from here on Earth. The million plus mile per hour number is based on measurements of how the most distant objects in the universe appear to move in comparison to us. But scientists want to try to measure our acceleration by looking at more nearby objects, other galaxies. Easier said than done, but they have detected for the first time ever using NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, the source of high energy neutrino from outside our galaxy. This neutrino traveled 3.7 billion years at almost the speed of light before being detected on Earth. This is farther than any other neutrino whose origin scientists can identify. High energy neutrinos are hard to catch particles that scientists think are created by the most powerful events in the cosmos, such as galaxy mergers and material falling onto supermass black holes. They travel speeds just shy of the speed of light and rarely interact with other matter, allowing them to travel unimpeded across distances of billions of light years. The neutrino was discovered by an international team of scientists using the National Space Foundation's Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. Fermi found the source of the neutrino by tracing its path back to a blast of gamma ray light from a distant supermass black hole in the constellation Orion. Isn't that stunning? A bit hard to believe, actually, but it gets the juices of the imagination flowing, if nothing else. This week, the United States Army were ordered to demolish the iconic Cape Canaveral launch towers as the U.S. and the world prepare in the steps for new space exploration projects that are far more ambitious than anything we have ever embarked upon before. Why this is happening is possibly a direct result of intelligent life detected in space or some sort of threat to the Earth has been found. Either way, mobilization is underway to make our civilization a force to be reckoned with as the next giant leap is surely unfolding before our very eyes. What do you guys think of this anyway? Comment below and as always, thank you for watching. Expenditures again for human habitation on the moon. We can help. We can join with, together, we can explore the moon and develop the moon. We should go boldly where man has not gone before. Fly by the comets, visit asteroids, visit the moon of Mars. There's a monolith there, a very unusual structure on this little potato-shaped object that, that goes around Mars once in seven hours. 
when people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? Well, uh, the universe put it there. If you choose, God put it there.